Okay, before we start the video, I would like to tell you guys about my Twitch channel. I usually make the walkthroughs there, so you guys are more than welcome. The link is in the description. Okay, let's just jump into the video. In a world which is in the ruins, like, literally, there are heroes who can save the universe by using their magical powers. Heroes who are young and willing to sacrifice themselves. They're called soul workers, and they're the only hope of the universe and all the humanity. Are you hyped for the series now? Good. Now throw that hype away, because that game looks nothing like that freaking trailer. And if you're asking, who the hell are you? You're pretty freaking right. I am Nato, and this is the beginner's review of Soul Worker. When we first click on character select, we get greeted by the character selection screen. And here we have main character of a slice of life anime, Aneko with a katana, and she even licks herself. What the fuck? Cocky boy with a double gun. A girl was literally wearing a swimsuit to a war. A girl was using Sasuke Susano. Walmart Caitlyn from League of Legends. The girl who got kicked out of k because she was too demonic. The JoJo's reference? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> and this girl, which is looking pretty freaking normal. So I decided to go with Jin Saipatsu, which is the guy with the fists. After picking him, I made some adjustments to make him look fancy, and then I hopped into the game. And this is my reaction to his opening scene. <laughs> Damn, he looks cool. He looks very sick, though, not gonna lie. Uh, I don't rem- okay, yeah, I really don't remember. What? Okay, so we're gonna be seeing a story of our character, I guess? Oh, okay, nothing is gonna be fine. Yeah, if our main character is saying everything is gonna be fine, and if we have a sad music in the background, that definitely is a sign for trage tragedy. I can't even talk today. Well, just like the past me said, yeah. I was right. It turns out our character actually makes a oopsie daisy that makes people die, and because he feels guilty, he jumps into the fucking void. Yeah, what a what a normal human being, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> this is okay, pizza. O okay, dude, calm down. Okay, don't go in there. You'll kill yourself trying to save them. <laughs> And he's like, I wanna die! Okay. Yeah. And now he's inside the void. How great. I heard a Kringle move. Okay. I don't know what's happening right now. Like, I don't know what I'm seeing, and I don't know what these things are, technically. Uh, okay. It looks like we're in a void. I guess. We're falling. The world. I'm pretty sure Japanese ones are actually great already, so yeah. I see, so I, did I die? Oh. Nope. Did I? Did I die or not? What do you. What? They pull your judgments down on the world. The so, I am getting blessed? No past me, we're definitely getting isekai right now to another freaking dimension. Now I'm falling. From the s Is that needle? Yeah, that's me. Uh, where am I again? Okay. Where am I? I don't feel like this is a dream, because it's probably not. You just jumped in a freaking portal. Yeah, probably that one. Uh, not an accident? Oh, he doesn't remember? Oh no. Help! Okay, let's just... Oh, what? I don't think that's a person. Yeah, that's kind of true. 
he's the only person that we can actually follow, uh, which is nice. Okay. Oh, this is not a tutorial? It is not. Okay. Uh, yeah, this place looks wrecked AF, not gonna lie. And... Come here. I I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Come here. Uh, how do I go there again? Oh, jump, of course. Why, why... <sighs> yeah, why not? Okay, not much further. Quick. Uh, why do I have to be quick? Is someone gonna be... Or something is gonna be chasing me or something like that? Okay. Probably not. But let's just be careful anyways, because why not? Okay. Uh... Huh? 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 Okay. We're gonna be fighting with these? That's kinda interesting, but okay. Okay, let's just beat these wolf ass, wolf ass thingies. Wolf looking thingies at least. I I think they're wolves, but you know. They're called teat. Quickly, this way, Miriam, this child. Excuse me, madame. I am bigger than you. Okay, uh, I'll tell you more about it later. Okay, okay. You, you can, of course, sure. Why not? Yes, you can, just run. What the hell? Th that guy doesn't look good at all. <laughs> just run. Okay, so... This electro... This Pokemon looking thing is chasing us. How great. And. Dang. Okay. Was that supposed to be cool? Because it was not. But okay. Oh, yeah. After watching that quote unquote cool animation, we get greeted by this child again and it turns out this child and us we are merged together and we are just like one so it was like two bodies in one technically and a little bit after that this child goes full psycho and destroys that freaking wolf and because we used all of our power probably we think because you know that's a stereotype in anime what the whoa okay what what? Yeah, I don't know what that thing is. Oh, I... Of course. As a classic anime thingy. Yeah. As a classic st stereotype, after using my best power, of course I'm gonna be fainting. When we wake up again, we wake up in a place that looks like it's straight got out of Avatar. Nope, I'm not talking about the Airbender one. I'm talking about the one that has blue people in it. And our first objective tells us to go to the end of the hallway where we meet Miriam and she greets us. When we talk to Miriam, we realize our character is actually pretty bad at talking with women, <coughs> just like someone, and at the same time, he's currently suffering from memory loss. Then, even though he's suffering from a memory loss, he literally goes out there and self diagnoses himself. I just diagnosed myself. How freaking great! Anime logic. Then she starts to give info about this place which is called Steel Graves. And I know, it's a weird name decision when you consider the fact that it's literally saving humans. Well after that, Miriam tells us she will be putting us through an exam, just like the school doctor. That's the important part, keep that in mind by the way. So she can see how powerful we are and at the same time if we carry any diseases from the outworld, which is pretty freaking weird. To take the test, we go out there and talk with this guy called Benjamin. This is a weird name selection too, because this guy definitely looks nothing like Benjamin. Okay, after we talk to Benjamin and finish talking with him, he puts us through the test. And let me tell you, do you guys remember what Miriam said about how this is gonna be like the school doctor? It turns out that's a freaking lie. Do you guys know why? Because there's no way my school doctor has killing machines in his freaking clinic. Or her clinic. Anyways, after beating the shit out of these robots and killing the final boss finally, Chloe, which is our assistant, tells us the test is finally complete. 
After we get out of the exam, we talk to Benjamin to learn we were so successful that we actually broke some of the machines and now Miriam needs to write a freaking apology letter to the main office. Then we finally get out of the steel graves and arrive to Rockotown, which is the main lobby of the game. Finally, after arriving to Rockotown, I decided to wander around for a bit and I found nothing, so I decided to go back and talk with Miriam to take my mission. There, when we were talking to Miriam, we actually learned we pulled a follow-up move and spent 15 years in the void. Slept for a couple of days because I got Calvin to wake him. Days? <laughs> You're obviously not clear about some things. It was 15 years. 15 years? After that, Miriam actually gets an emergency call that says they found a kid in the ruins where we fell down to. And because she's in the saving team, she has to go and save that kid. Before Miriam goes, she says we should talk to Sunny about the vacuums and learn more about them. So we do. And when we do, she tells us that vacuums can't be natural disasters because they look weak. No shit lady. After Sunny lectures us about how vacuums are not normal, by the way, duh, we go and speak to Benjamin where he pulls a freaking Levi move and says, you have to rest and you're too young so I can't send you to war. But our character doesn't give a shit and goes anyway, because anime logic. After beating the few levels, we finally arrive to the boss room where Miriam and the child gets literally owned by the freaking wolf. And yes, I'm talking about the same child that destroyed the boss in the intro. Okay, so this is where the first episode ends. Thank you for watching, and if you guys like the thing, please subscribe. If you didn't, please dislike and leave a comment about what I should change and what I should do. And at the same time, I'll let you guys watch this quote-unquote epic fight. So, yeah. See ya!